What's going on YouTube, as Nick Chair, we'll bring you guys another video. This is actually going to be my first State of Decay 2 video. I've actually been really enjoying this game. I've never played the first game before, so this is my first State of Decay game. Let me tell you guys, I thought that this game was going to be a lot more action-based, but it's a lot more survival-based, just giving you guys a heads up for those of you either thinking about the game or those of you who are getting the game today. But uh, overall, I've been having a great time. I've been playing this game quite a bit. I mean, I did get sick over the weekend. But, I mean, I put a solid amount of time into this game so far, and I'm looking forward to playing this on stream. Which, by the way, my channel was Twitch.tv, Astro Nick, if you guys want to ever hang out there and play with me. I do play with viewers. We have a lot of fun. It's going to be lit come Tuesday when the game comes out. Or actually, no, that's going to be today. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about how to share play cards very quickly. You could do it from anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute. Um, in this video right here, you guys are going to see, this is like my first run of me actually trying out my method of destroying play cards really quickly. And it is a walk in the park. For those of you just starting off on State of Decay 2, or for those of you who play solo, I'm pretty sure you guys will find out that destroying play cards, it's pretty tough. I wouldn't say it's very hard in a party, but definitely when playing solo, destroying play cards is probably like the hardest thing in the game. Other than trying to balance your community and survive. After gathering a lot of materials, I did struggle a little bit here and there. But I really wanted to make this video, especially right before the game comes out. You know, for the majority of you guys that are picking up the game, come today. Because I don't want you guys losing characters. Fortunately, I have not lost any characters when going for play cards. But I can guarantee that, I mean, someone starting off, if you guys don't watch this video. They're going to lose a character going for a play card. And they're going to be very, very sad. So I decided to make this video to help you guys out. I don't want you guys losing characters, man. It's real sad when you work on a character and the character gets killed by a zombie or something. So, and you guys are going to see destroying play cards is easy peasy. Like, a little kid could do it. And yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm at my locker right now. And having all these items is pretty overkill. But just to be safe, I would stock up on as much as possible. I'm running a backpack with six slots, not including the pockets. So, uh, I mean, you guys could run a bigger backpack and carry even more equipment, but this is more than enough, as you guys will see in the actual gameplay. But anyway, in my inventory, I have loaded three Molotovs, three boom boxes, three tubes of fireworks, a soda can bomb, energy drinks, napalm grenades, painkillers, and I have a shotgun with shotgun shells. Now, you guys don't need a maximum of these items, but having extra just in case you mess up or something, I mean, it's, you know, it's insurance. But if you haven't been able to collect these items, out of all these items, I would say at least carry a boombox, maybe some fireworks. Energy drinks are important just in case your character runs out of stamina, you could drink one of those. And stamina lasts crazy long with energy drinks. Um, the nail palm grenade I found that was really good. This is actually my first time using it. Um, and make sure to have some health. I mean, you could use bandages, painkillers, whatever you guys have. As far as a weapon, like, you really don't need a gun, but, I mean, just in case, you know, you want that extra firepower. I have a shotgun. You could bring a pistol. You don't even need to bring a gun, though. But once again, it's just that little extra insurance. So if you do make a mistake, you have the equipment to save your character's life so you don't lose your character. And once again, this method will help you guys destroy a play cart in under a minute. Easy. No problem. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the gameplay. As you guys can see, I just parked my car. The play cart is across the street. Make a little run here. All the zombies behind me. I set my boombox. Shit. A lot of plague zombies around here. Whoa, whoa. So the boombox started going off. A little mess up right there. Heading towards the house. I'm kind of scrambling, looking for my fireworks. I wish there was like a speed wheel. But I set the fireworks. You don't even really need to set fireworks, Man, but I just set it just in case weeks. for that extra insurance once again. Oops. Kind of swung there. Up that, that boombox. And because those boomboxes are going, the zombies are attracted to the boomboxes and the fireworks. So there's no zombie zombie when we're working this play cart. Gonna mess up that bomb right there. But with the nail palms, I nail it. One. That's two. Boom. Play card done. Play card destroyed. Easy peasy. No zombies are on me. Run straight out of the house. The zombies are angry or they're just, they're just distracted by the boom box actually. And now they're chasing me, but by the time they're chasing me, we're already we're already out. See ya. And that is how you destroy a play card, guys. Just like that. No problem. So as you guys saw, it's a lot easier to destroy a play card with that method. I tried fighting the zombies at first, and I feel like they don't ever stop coming. So definitely you need to have some kind of distraction element. And it makes destroying play cards super easy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Hopefully you guys learned something. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Also, if you guys want to learn anything specific instead of the K2, make sure to drop it down in the comments.
Lastly, twitch.tv Asher Nick is where I'm going to be streaming State of Decay 2 every single night. Link in the description. It's where you guys can hang out with me, talk. Even some of you guys will be able to play with me. I do play with viewers once again. And yeah, we have a lot of fun there. So make sure to go to the Twitch channel and drop that follow. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, have a great day. Have a great night. This is the true and shoots.